Hey there! Today we're going to do a video on how to measure an animal for taxidermy if you don't have the original measurements. So I don't always have the privilege of getting the whole animal brought to me. It's ideal if I can take the animal before skinning and lay my measuring tape from nose to tail and around the stomach and get the exact carcass measurements. But it doesn't always work that way, especially when dealing with large animals from out of state. So I have a mountain lion that was shipped to me. This hide is already tanned. I did not do the tanning. This came from another tannery. That could be kind of hit or miss because sometimes they're not as stretchy. They don't feel exactly uh, like I'm used to. That's okay. We do what we got to do. I've just got to get some measurements off this so I can... Uh, you know, select a form and help the client pick out what a uh, mannequin will most closely fit their animal. So first thing I like to do is stretch the width of the hide. A very common mistake is to stretch the length out. Certain animals, more so than others, will just let out in the length like crazy. Felines are one of those. Um, and so many people will, will take their hide and just stretch it out like this, be like, I got a nine foot mountain lion. You might, you might, but it's going to look like a wiener dog if we mount that length because the stomach would be very, very small. So you've got to be careful to keep both the measurements proportional. It will stretch out like crazy in length if you let it. So I find by actually focusing on the width of the hide, um, the circumference right around the largest part of the stomach, that seems to be a lot harder to overstretch. It's not going to look unproportional if you go with the stomach measurement more so than the length. Um, it's, a, it's a surefire way to be a little safer with your measurements. So first thing I want to do, though, is make sure that I get all the stretch out of it that I can. I've got this tool here. It's uh, kind of like a carpet puller type tool on the end. has some uh, some metal grips and this long... Uh, piece of wood so that I can push against this. So I'll put my foot right here on the edge of the hide. That's not going to hurt anything. Put this into my shoulder and stretch this out. And by, by being able to place this leverage against the hide, I can really get the width stretched out much more than I could with just my hands. Because, you know, this will work pulling it with your hands, but you'll, you'll find you won't get as much stretch out with that. So I'm going to keep going with this tool and see how much width I can get out this hide. So when I unwrapped the hide earlier before stretching, I was getting about 28 inches on the width. Now afterwards, I'm getting a pretty comfortable 32. We could go maybe 33. I don't want to, you know, it, I don't want it to be tight in the belly where stitches are pulling. So I'm going to go with 32 for this uh, width measurement. And um, you may notice this hide is really yellow. That is from uh, possibly the type of sawdust this tannery used. It's not as stretchy as I would like. Not as stretchy as the hides that I use, but um, we can't all be perfect, can we? And it's, you know, like this is the hide of a bobcat that I've tanned. Much wider and really, really, really stretchy. So when I can, I prefer to tan my own, but this will do. This will do. So we've got our width measurement of 32. Let's move on from here. So when we're looking at a pelt, we have to look at it kind of as a 3D image instead of 2D. Right now it's flat on the floor. I have stretched the girth as much as I can, but you'll notice it still just looks skinny and stretched out. Here we have a form. Uh, this is for a leopard, not a mountain lion, but similar structured animal and similar measurements here. And look how um, nice and bulky that animal looks. It's not overstretched. It is not nearly as long as this. So to get our length measurement, I am going to make some adjustments. I like to envision it as, what would this hide look like if it had muscles from the shoulders inside it, feeling it out and making it more round? It would not be this stretched out. We would be bringing this chest up under to here to connect with the insides of these legs. Everything's going to be stacked in much tighter. It's not going to look like wrinkles once it's mounted. You just have the overall 
size of that form filling out the circumference. So I like to kind of stack this and lay it until this looks much more appropriate. We'll come down here and also consider the hips, the width of the hips, and the circumference of the legs. And I'll lay this out, even tuck this in to create that leg bend. I just kind of visually want to make this look like a lion, not like, uh, like I said earlier, a dachshund dog, because that's not what we're working on today. So let's create this shoulder, this tuck. There, it's rough, but it definitely looks proportionally more like the animal we're going to mount now. And when we put it on the form, all these wrinkles are going to be filled out with the volume of the form. It also doesn't hurt to take a neck measurement, which just like the stomach, I'm going to stretch out. And that's going to be roughly at 18 inch neck on this lion. Now, but now for the length, I can lay my tape on here from the nose down to the tail. And I am getting right at about 50 inches, which if you look at the McKenzie catalog, so here's our catalog for our lion forms. These are the girth measurements. Let's go down to the ones in the 30, 32 range. You'll see we have 49 and a half, 50 inch forms. It's gonna be perfect. Nothing is going to be without some alterations, but you can see by getting that width measurement correct, pretty much the length just falls into place. Give or take a couple inches, that will alter. Everything is good. So I hope this video was helpful on how to measure a hide. Um, if we had made the mistake of stretching it out as long as possible, we would have had an eight foot nose to tail mountain lion, but it's going to have a tiny, tiny tube-like stomach and look really stupid. I've seen it happen before and you won't find a form with those measurements. And uh, some taxidermists have gone so far as to get a form and make it into that measurement whittle down the girth, lengthen the body, it is going to look very abnormal. It is gonna look like a hot dog. And, and you might argue that's the measurements of the hide. Yes, but they can be manipulated. You can stretch it this way, you can stretch it that way. And the length is very prone to overstretching when you've got these wet tanned hides. So focus less on overstretching the length, get it nice and bulky in the stomach, consider the muscles of the shoulders and the legs and the stomach that's gonna fill out the form. And um, like I said, I, I found you just can't go wrong stretching the width of the hide and kind of matching things up from there. Uh, but I hope this has been helpful. I try not to be a know-it-all. I'm just trying to help other taxidermists. I've gotten some comments lately like, you don't know what you're talking about, lady, or stop trying to educate us, woman. But I'm just trying to help because I love what I do. And back when I first got started, maybe I measured some things wrong. You know, you don't know until you know. So. I uh, look forward to mounting this awesome mountain lion, and I hope everybody has a great day.